Hi guys, this is Carrie from Rock and G Farm. Well, I'm trying to film a lot of content today because I have the day off and the weather is nice. We're fixing to get some storms. So I have some herbs that I need to move from their current location over to the garden. Where's my garden? Whoop, 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 whoop. My garden's over there somewhere. So anyway, I've got two, let me flip you. I've got two lemon balm. Look at this. I think that's a watermelon from the chickens. Uh, I don't know, because I didn't plant that. But there's another one right there. Huh, too bad it, it's too late in the season. But I'm going to take this lemon balm. He looks pretty bad. But I think I'll just kind of trim him up really good. Take him, and then there's one right over here. Right there. And I'll take that one, and I'm going to put it in the garden raised bed in the back. Look at this. My clematis is really looking good and okay. See this these didn't have a very good root system either. So this area down here, they the soil is just too compacted to grow anything good. I mean, you can even see the bushes that I've planted there. They're not doing good, so they're gonna have to come out and go somewhere else. Okay, as you can see here, my sweet mint has finally taken um, root really well. And I'm so excited because it was really super, super small um, all season and finally it's, it's taken root. I am going to try to Harvest some more of this. I harvested some of it yesterday, put it in the um, dehydrator. So we'll get some more of this. Also, it has a um, rosemary right here. I might um, move that rosemary plant over there a little bit to give it a little bit more room. But this is where we're gonna put most of the herbs. And I know that lemon balm and mint go crazy, but I wanted a good, herb garden and so I think this is where I want my herbs to be so I am going to pull these stalks up and use them for some decorations so let me get that done and then we'll plant the lemon balm and maybe move that rosemary to another spot just because she probably needs to be buried just a little bit deeper and have a little bit more room from the mint well hi lady yeah mm -hmm. friends as you can see I had to put some compost from my compost pile in here because over the season the soil dropped quite dramatically so I had to build it back up so um these are probably gonna be easy to pull up so I think I might just try to give some of them to the chickens now let them eat off of them that piece of grass out so see if, if um, Gracie would like some mint. Gracie, you want some mint? Let's see how she likes that. You gonna eat it? Well, she's hiding from us. We'll see if she eats some. So let's go ahead and get these lemon balms in here. I'm sure that's, that's a weed. I don't want that in there. And they smell Oh my gosh, so amazing. So let's see if we can get these to root in and grow. Because I would love to do some herbal teas and stuff with my lemon balm. All right, so there's our lemon balm. Hopefully the rain will come and water them in. So let's go get the um, 
Well, shoot. Let's go get another herb. So I'm going to go ahead and move this rosemary. It needs to be um, deeper in the ground and have a little bit more space. So we've got that, looks pretty good. Look at that big old thing. Awesome, love rosemary. Okay, I think I'll just probably put her right here. And I'm gonna plant her, you can see how shallow she was. So I'm gonna plant her just a little bit deeper to get this stem um, a little bit more support into the ground. There we go. Oh, rosemary smells so amazing. And you can make some awesome rosemary chicken. You can take the rosemary and you stick it under the skin of the chicken and then you bake it. Oh, amazing, amazing. But we can do a video on that. But there's my rosemary, my lemon balm, and my sweet mint. Let's go see if we can get some more rosemary out of the green stock. That's going to be a big ordeal because that is a very, very big plant. A leaf green stalk that was pretty um this whole area was nothing but that rosemary root ball so yes probably oh look we got several plants no wonder there's several plants in here yay we'll just kind of plant them throughout the garden the raised bed so let's go get that we'll come back in a minute and get the lavender so with all of the settling of the soil in this raised bed, along with pulling out the corn stalks, I needed to replace some more soil. So I went ahead and got some compost from my compost pile and added enough soil to bring the soil up close to the level of the top of the raised bed. And then I went ahead and pulled back the leaves and on the mint and added some extra soil around the mint. Um, it was a good thing that the mint hadn't set roots yet, so I was able to actually pull that back and make it more compact instead of running all over the top of that raised bed. So that was a good thing. So I just went ahead and just added some more soil around that mint and pushed it up against the roots and made sure that it was nice and settled and ready for the winter. So with moving the first rosemary from the corner of the raised bed and put it into the center of the raised bed, I thought if I added all of the rosemary we got out of the green stalk that might overtake that whole raised bed and I want it to be have more than just one or two varieties of herbs in it so I went ahead and added some more compost to one of my um molasses buckets that I grow my vegetables in and I added some compost to that and then I went ahead and split up the plants of the rosemary into I believe three or four different pieces there and went ahead and and oh transplanted gosh, them into that molasses yeah. bucket. It smells amazing. Okay guys I'm gonna have to quit for the day because it's starting to sprinkle but I did get the three large rosemary plants put up in a um, container right here and so, oh my gosh guys it just smells amazing so we've got those three there and then we went ahead and i've got one of the rosemaries that we um repotted or removed from this edge right here and we just moved it over here to this edge here so we moved it from this edge here and put it in the middle to give it a little bit more room and then we have the lemon balm here I added some more compost into this raised area here because I am going to put the lavender there however it's starting to sprinkle and I don't want to get wet so this is what we've done and I actually got to pull up the um, 
sweet mint. It was just kind of laying around and I added some more compost around it to raise up the soil that had um, com compacted over the year. So that is our herbs for today. So thanks guys for joining me today as I up potted some of my herbs into the raised beds and some of the containers. I'm so excited and it just smells amazing out here. I am so excited to see how well it does during the summer next year. So guys, thanks for joining me and make what you have beautiful.